Please. Thank you, Joa. Um, well, um, Mayo, Mayor Moreira and uh, Jean Feo de Acevedo, um, dear colleagues and fellow attendees, it's really an honor to be addressing you as the chair of uh, the International Steering Committee, uh, to which belong two of the speakers whom you heard today, um, Carl Johansson and Mehuan Deba. Um, as Rao said, these remarks uh, were not prepared for ahead of time, so these are raw impressions which I'm sharing with you. Uh, what struck me today was uh, the diversity, the originality, uh, and uh, most importantly, the scientific care uh, and effort of the activities. Um, in a word, and I think you would agree, they really are superb. Um, these are not just vague uh, musings. Uh, these are not just uh, adornments, uh, superficial demos. Um, these are true tools uh, that are being developed here before you. So for instance, uh, you did not only uh, place one or two sensors on one or two buses. Um, you went forth, you performed an extensive, in effect, what I would call in vivo, um, deployment of uh, sensors on a fleet of buses and took very extensive, um, scientifically rigorously um, collected uh, data. Uh, you did not just wonder about what would happen if a bus driver wore a shirt and um, shown a picture of a bus driver maybe um, fetchingly modeling the shirt. Uh, you went and worked with bus drivers in uh, uh, their own workplace, uh, busy bus drivers, because you were able to justify to them the value of what you were doing. Um, so, as we heard this morning uh, from uh, Councilman Arajo, um, everything that you do in the beautiful uh, city of Porto seems to be very much seen in a historical context, and particularly we heard about the importance of the heritage of Porto. So in this gracious architecture which we're enjoying, I started thinking about what would have been uh, the future cities meeting of a few millennia ago. Uh, because whatever we're doing now will be seen in retrospect in a different light. So if it were a few millennia ago, um, I would have walked several weeks. I would have arrived uh, at the Circulo Universitario, which would have been, just as we heard, I think, um, uh, Manuel Etor talk about, would have been just a circle uh, where the meetings would have been held. Um, and we would have heard about the latest uh, innovations. Um, I don't know what they would have been, maybe bricks. Uh, and instead of hearing about the different kinds of um, uh, um, uh, developments in um, um, materials for antennas, for instance, as, as we heard this morning, we would have heard maybe about the different types of muds that are now being used for bricks. Um, and the, the point of making, uh, of, of, of making this uh, sort of silly little mental exercise is that in the end that is what you're building, you're building bricks. Um, and they may have seemed a little odd when they came out. Uh, they probably had a lot of uh, different problems. People thought about maybe not privacy, <laughs> but certainly about durability. Uh, and their value, however, comes in the fact that they have been um, building blocks on which cities are now um, reliant. And I think that's what you're building now. Um, and I think uh, there was a speaker this afternoon who said this is not the end of the story, this is the beginning. So I'd like to end by, by citing that speaker. Thank you.